Hi, welcome to Universal Interiors. I'm Les Engelstead, and we get to have Nick Murray again today as our guest, and very excited to find out a wee bit about the brew business and his passion and love that he's taken on with his friend John. Yep, and, and a couple other guys. Got and a couple other fellows uh, involved. Lana Schmidt and Zach Fulmer. Okay. Who are also involved as well, Terrific. who have been helping me immensely and just being that support. So I give a shout out to those guys. Also, Brian and Justin. Brian Alexander, Justin Larson. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and what we have going here is, let's see, you brought some goodies in front of me today. What's this all about? What is that? Okay, so yeah, I brought some grains. Um, just to kind of give an example. So, you know, like this is like, so brewing 101. I like to, you know, at least make it seem like something or related to something so people can kind of understand because it, it can be complicated. Uh, so just imagine you're making a soup. You have your grains Perfect. here. Um, okay. You got like a roasted barley. Uh, you got white wheat, which are basically kind of the kind of malts that you would add in as like these would be your carrots, your celery, or your onions, kind of almost. In okay, a sense. makes sense. Um, and then you got your base malt, which is this is a two row, which is actually malted here in Minnesota in oh, Shakopee, cool. which is yeah, pretty cool. Got to you know keep it local. Definitely. Um, so when, this doesn't look too local. No, that's not local. That's from New Zealand. All it's, right. These are hops. Um, uh, no, darling, these are, is this in just a different mix? These, okay, that's yeah, a so, hop. Yeah, well, these are hop pellets. These are basically condensed, like, hops, okay. like hops cut, they're, you know, they're flowers and they have cones. Uh, but these are what, like, most brewers use. They just get way more out of them. And, they, they, like, you, like, if you got, like, whole hops that equaled this, it would be huge, like a huge bag. Okay, okay. Um, so these kind of act as, uh, like, your spice, if that makes sense. Yep. All so right. starting from the beginning, you have... Your kettle. Yep. You got your water. You get your water to a certain temperature, and like I said, I can get You're super scientific. Uh, then you gr you make sure these whichever type of style. I mean, it depends what on what kind of style you of do. Beer. Right. Uh, you got you know you grind them up. You make sure you have them in something that your uh, that they don't gum up your kettle or anything. Okay. Most have like a false like mesh bottom or something like that. And um, so uh, we use like these. Some people use bags. We have a system okay. that we use that basically keeps it all condensed so that you don't have to worry too much okay. about the grain. And you're boiling it or brewing it, basically. Uh, we, we, we do a step, what we call a step mash. Okay. Um, so uh, it's just heating the water up like gradually to a certain point and then holding it there for a little bit. Okay. And that is turning those starches into sugars because what do you need to make alcohol? The yeast goes in. Yeast. They eat the sugar and that makes alcohol. Okay. Uh, which is, <laughs> otherwise I don't think people would be drinking beer too as much Yeast as they do. Yeast and sugars <laughs> and but, all that. Okay. Um, so after that step's all done, that can take anywhere from two to three hours. Okay. Depending on the style you do. Uh, then you take out the, you take the grain out and then you bring it, the, the liquid to a boil. Okay. Then uh, what I usually do is a 90 minute boil. The reason I do 90 minute boil is because I figured out that I have to do a 90 minute boil to get to this certain gravity and I'll talk about that in just okay. a second. Um, uh, that I want to get to. So bring that to a boil and then half an hour goes by, you add in like your first hop addition or you can do it at 90, but the, you know, the sooner, the, the sooner you add in the hops, the more bitter the beer is going to be. Okay. So, as so it's you whatever on, you're after, the yeah. different kinds and for all, there is different types, styles oh, yeah. um, of beer. I don't know if so. mean, but like you can get like, it says like alpha acids. So the lower the alpha acid, the less bitter this hop's going to be. See, like this one would be an aroma hop. This is something you would add in like okay. later on. Okay. Uh, the higher the hops, like the more bitter and tense, like your IPAs. Like those are the ones you want to use for your IPAs and stuff like okay. that. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so. And you, is it trial and error almost? Oh, yeah. How no. you, yeah, you've never told the, us like, that. It, and... okay, um, I'll tell you a quick funny story. Uh, we thought a batch was infected. Uh -huh. and now what really makes a beer, now like after you're done boiling and stuff, right? and you cool it down, you want to cool it down as fast as you can because you don't want it, it can be prone to infection because yeast oh, okay. is really, really touchy. Sure. Uh, so once you get your yeast in there, and now yeast to me is what makes the beer. Okay. Now anybody can make the liquid part, but you have to make sure you have the proper pitching rate, which is like the right amount of cells in there. Okay. And there's ways you can do that. Um, but like I said, I can't really get into that too much. But so, um, what happened was we used a different style of yeast, and when we tasted it, I'm like, wow, this is not good. <laughs> and, <laughs> this happens. And so I'm like, I hate messing up. Sure. So I did it over again. Same thing. I'm like, well, it can't be this. I mean, what is going on? So I did, I did the same thing again, but with a different yeast, turned out like normal. So 
Depending on the type Strong of yeast, yeah. yep, there's so many yeast strands out there. So just, you know, if you're going to be home brewing or anything like that, just keep an eye, you know, look at reviews, but you know, you have to be your own judge. Yep, I know that there's just a lot of studying. Yes, so I don't know if that kind of that brew sums it up really that. fast. Yeah, if that's but well, we get that the gist well of it for yes. sure. Yeah, it so you're really taking this, you've already taken it, you've been working at it, I believe you said a couple years already, right? Yes, you yes. You guys have been hamming it out really hard. Right, 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 right. Yes. So with this... What do we get to see here? What's the goal? Well, the um, my goal. Well, the goal is, you know, I want to have uh, a tap room. A tap room is basically you can come to our brewery, and it's basically it, it is a bar, uh, but we just have our beer there. Now, okay. Okay. this is where the culinary thing comes in because I do want to have food, okay. but I really want to keep it simple. And Love that so, idea. Yeah, I really want to keep it simple because I want to buy local ingredients and not have to charge a crap ton for it. Yeah, them. yeah. Like uh, brats, sure. like I'd mentioned. I think having brats but a different variety of brats well there's so many when amazing. you think about our you know? the hunters or i mean you can get yeah i mean anybody can come in and have a brat. i mean it doesn't get... even have to be a brat like it'd be a hot, like you know sure. different size of hot dogs but they're gourmet hot dogs like they're right. made with local meat there's no like yep. you know Fillers stuff there's that. no stuff in it that's gonna be it's right. not cancer causing yeah or any of that stuff there's no gmo yeah you would yeah you wouldn't want to mess with a good healthy product i mean what you're doing yeah. you're getting good product exactly. here and you and then we'd be able to use like take away from i it. just want to utilize everything we have and we beer braise those brats in our beer nice and then you know i would like to have like where we're cooking out in front of the people so like when the order comes up like we can mingle the cooks can even mingle and yeah. i want to get facetime and with like the guests and, and stuff and i want and they want little, that because yeah. i know when i um when i can just start as somebody i like my wine i like to just kind of pick if i would go to a winery that would be like these guys coming into a brewery or a brew house or is that what you called it uh, uh, tap tap room, tap room, tap room yep. yeah so you come and what better place would that be than to go right to the source yeah. and, and so just talking minute. it with yeah. you all out there about why this one's that way and yep. i know nick has brought a, a chocolate stout he and his buds made i believe it was called that cherry chocolate cherry or something yeah it was a chocolate cherry i and did it for like, my wife ah girls yeah, my chocolate chocolate cherry yes it was very <laughs> sweet and um and i was like isn't that something? And I, you could taste just a little bit back there, and not overpowering. And yeah, you know, I, I mean, really it's, it's want, gotta be a like, lot of fun. People to turn. I really want to turn like all like not like obviously underage kids, but <laughs> but like people that aren't beer drinkers. Right. I want them to come and enjoy a nice relaxing. Because you don't atmosphere. have to tip them and tip them and tip them with no, something come and nice enjoy like a couple this. Glasses. Yep. And you know, have like some food, and like I also like I want to have like you know like a like some sort of snack there people can snack on but Sounds you know great. it's it's in the works you know obviously the money is kind of the thing but you know we're going to be presenting um our claim to you know bank here soon hopefully uh, and I can so see yeah it, the vision uh, well yeah well actually it's not hopefully we will be i mean this is nice. going to happen regardless I, I don't care if, if you know if somebody yep. you know if more and more people decide to to do this before me then that's fine because it's not going to really deter me that sounds so fun. Doing it, yes. Well, I am thinking it's time to cheer I know, right? the new business. Look forward to meeting Nick out there. Hopefully soon we'll keep you in touch, yes. right? Yes, Thanks yes. Thanks for joining us tonight. Yes, cheers. I appreciate it. See you next time.